Pineapple is a commercial horticultural crop grown in some regions of India, East Asia and Africa. In India, this crop is grown in about 90,000 hectares of land. Only about 30% fresh fruit is processed in industries for juice, jam and caned products for human consumption. Out of the whole fruit, about 65% is non-edible that includes peels and leafy crown. This represents substantial residual biomass. In India, annually an estimated quantity of 1.3 million tons of pineapple fruit residue is available. This has no well documented usage except as a waste. This residue of pineapple fruit consists of peels, leafy crown and pomace. Due to more moisture and high sugar content, the keeping quality of this residue is very low. This result in putrefaction and is a problem for disposal and cause environmental pollution. The National Institute of Animal Nutrition and Physiology NIANP, Bangalore a research organization under the Indian Council of Agricultural Research ICAR, is mandated to conduct research on newer feed resources and to develop technologies for sustainable livestock production. The National Institute of Animal Nutrition and Physiology was established in the year uh, 1995 and we are in the 21st year and during the last uh, 21 years we are trying to understand the basic uh, principles of animal nutrition and physiology and trying to find out where is uh, the concepts of the animal nutrition physiology. One of the main uh, mandate or the objective is to see that how to reduce the feed cost and the basically uh, the idea is to put more and more uh, the unconventional material into the feed basket and reduce the, the feed cost. Silage making is a technology wherein uh, the, the surplus material can be preserved and it can be used during the lean period. In case of this uh, pineapple, uh, the whatever the wastage is there, it was uh, recorded that around 40 percent of the material uh, generally uh, goes waste when the pineapple is uh, processed on an industrial scale and this particular material is being converted into a silage and it is fed to the animals. The scientists of NIANP under the leadership of Dr. N. K. S. Gowda, principal scientist assisted by Dr. D. T. Pal and Dr. S. Anandan took a research project to evaluate the pineapple fruit residue to use it as a fodder for livestock. They conducted extensive research on its nutritive value and methods to improve the keeping quality. They worked on silage method to conserve this residue and standardized the technique of conservation. The chaffed pineapple fruit residue at a moisture content of about 65% was compacted well in plastic drums and stored under airtight and perfect anaerobic condition for about 20 days period. This resulted in a very good quality silage. This was palatable to livestock as a source of fodder. Combination of four parts of pineapple crown and one part of peel yielded good quality silage. 
Silage prepared from pineapple fruit residue was evaluated in livestock feeding. A feeding trial in sheep and dairy cows was conducted to assess its utility as a source of fodder. Total mixed ration was prepared by mixing calculated quantity of silage and concentrate mixture before feeding. The top layer of silage, if contained whitish fungal growth, was removed and discarded. On nutritional analysis in laboratory, it was known that the silage from pineapple fruit residue contained 7.5% crude protein and 10.79 megajoule metabolizable energy. Also, it contained good to moderate amount of macro and micro minerals. The overall nutritive value was comparable to that of maize grain fodder. Feeding pineapple fruit residue silage to farm animals showed no adverse effect. It could completely replace the conventional grain fodder and also supported adequate growth in sheep and increased the daily milk yield by 2 to 3 liters among the cows. To popularize this useful technology of pineapple fruit residue as a fodder, the NABARD has given grant for setting up model unit. So accordingly with the help of NABARD, we set up model units in the factory of Dr. Abdul Roof and Mr. Kudus at Banwasi. Now they continuously make this residue to make it as silage and use as a fodder. The farmers in this area, they are using this silage and their need of fodder is partly met by the use of this silage. Similar to this technology, other fruit residues like the jackfruit residue, muskmelon, mango, banana, Many other fruit residues also can be used as a silage and use it as a fodder.